focus on the organizational factors, in particular the pre-development, which is, 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 is much of the sort of five-year period covered by the case study. Um, in some cases, we've got to sort of interpret or interpolate between the sort of big gaps in the narrative, um, but we can draw upon our experiences uh, to do that. Um, and one way, as I said, of trying to make sense of that is to look at aspects that we know from the research make a big difference, particularly in the pre-development phases. So, for example, um, we know that one of the facts that came out again and again and again from Sappho, Stanford onwards, was this notion that um, involvement, for different reasons, of senior management is an indicator of success, but much depends upon the conditions and the nature of the involvement. Okay, so we can start looking at perhaps the um, involvement in the particular Phillips case of senior management and, and the role of leadership more generally in that five-year program, both good and bad. So the purpose here is less about did they do a good or a bad job, but just trying to understand what they did and how, and then trying to understand more generalizably, if there is such a word as generalizably, which there isn't, <laughs> and more generalizable lessons in terms of you know, what they did well, can we make that good practice, or things perhaps they didn't do so well or didn't do at all that we might want to see uh, in that particular project. So let's begin with the sort of top down. Let's start with the sort of senior management leadership aspects of the program. So these are primarily leadership and I include in that other key individuals because what you find from the innovation studies is it's not necessarily the sort of senior manager or the CEO or the CTO who's in charge. I mean that's one thing you learn when you look beyond the case studies that we often are asked to consume in business schools, which are written after the event, ignoring all the dead ends, ignoring all the dissenters, and, and that's why this case is quite nice, because there are some sort of rough edges to what actually happened, rather than you know, Chuck Norris, CEO, visionary, you know, written five years after the event, and, and sort of taking away all the nasty dead ends and mistakes, because you don't learn much from that. Great stories, but they're not very realistic. So let's focus on leadership broadly defined. Yeah? Senior individuals who are involved in this project, what do they do? Was it positive? What else could have been done? So what roles did senior management and leadership play in this program? Or programs, I guess. Vision. Can we... <laughs> can we have somewhere between maybe two words, <laughs> but not necessarily a complete sentence, because I've got to write them down, OK? So if it's just one word, then there's a lot of interpretation going on. Yeah? If it's a whole sentence, I can't write it down. So something, two or three words is the optimum, yeah? if you like. So the, the whole program was uh, based on the vision uh, and the top 10% top of the revenue should be coming in. OK, so yeah. So the whole program, um, so it began with, um, it's a sort of growth vision, wasn't it? A revenue growth. Was it revenue or profit? Profit growth, yeah. <laughs> Come on, this is not a finance lecture, nobody cares. Yeah? I think they set the same very early on that they were prepared to challenge. So, you know, they weren't kind of saying to the, the team, you know, come up with something you know, in a confined space. So that probably opened up a little bit for Okay. Yep. They took action after three something billion euros losses. I mean, and afterwards uh, they were putting these goals like ten percent of growth or something for the That's a good a good point. A point we made earlier was that to try to understand, particularly the pre-development phase, you need to understand the conditions or the context. Where are we? How did we get here? It all sounds very uh, philosophical, um, but it begin to appreciate what's driving it, yeah? So, yeah, you're right. Explicitly, it's this, you know, to improve the profitability or revenue or whatever it is in this case by X percent, and that's quite common. But then you scratch below that and you say, well, wh where are we? How did we get here? What are the conditions in which we're working? So what were the conditions, if you like, that, that where the case begins, other than that vision statement? Why that vision statement? What shape is the business in at the point at the beginning of the case? 
<laughs> it's mature, it's low growth, yeah? It used to be a cash cow, but it's not even just a cow now, yeah? I apologise, depending on your religious disposition. But yeah, so it's a large part of the business that isn't yielding the income that you would hope. A mature business, yeah? So that's where we're starting. So they're losing money. Yeah, so it's, very, so it's a very ambitious target driven by a very urgent need. Okay, that's really important to appreciate that, you know, the conditions under which you're making these decisions. Okay, carry on. Other, other roles of senior managers or leadership? Crisis management. Hmm? Crisis management. Yeah, can you articulate? Yeah. Yeah. Certainly, the initial kickoff meeting wasn't it? The how many minutes of silence was it? Five, Five. Five minutes of silence. You can always imagine it, can't you? So, so parts of the case are very well written. I can say that because I didn't write it. But you can. You've been in those situations, particularly when you get external consultants in. Everyone starts staring at their feet, thinking, "Why are we here? Who's going to get sacked? Yeah. Is my division safe? Things like that. Yeah. I think they allow people the time as well. Yeah. It's more a climate factor, but I don't care where we put them as long as we capture it. So certainly um, um, time. And we know from our universal um, curve of management, yeah, the time's one of those things also that you can have too little or too much. Yeah? Okay, so the issue of you know, providing time and space, that will get into astrophysics on you, to allow these things to happen. Yeah. You were heavily confident that the CEO was the project owner himself. And yeah. The steering committee was senior management. So yeah. So it was a high level presidential project, wasn't it? I'm not sure of how, how Phillips at that point was structured. It's pretty hierarchical, like most um, Anglo Dutch organisations. So it was um, yeah, presidential project. And then it had that sort of senior management steering group, didn't it? Yeah. Ah, there's a question. Two words, very good. High involvement. <laughs> oh, I thought it was going to be involvement. Is it high or low? High or low? It's just in the middle. Um, before we go further, high involvement. Let's have a show of hands here. Do you think it was? This is very scientific, isn't it? Um, I'll get a paper out of this. No chance. Do you think it was high involvement, senior management? Because we argued the evidence suggests senior management involvement has this sort of sponsorship role on the one hand but also this sort of helicopter bridging role on the other. And, and different projects, one's more important than the other. And now, throughout the case, they make the point that it started off, you know, the high-level vision, that they had the pre it's a presidential project, senior management team. And there's a few other bits we'll mop up in a moment. Um, so it gives a general sort of view, and they actually say explicitly along the way, and this, therefore it was an important project, blah, 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 blah. But do you see that as involvement? So one of those sort of... Yeah. Who thinks it, that, that senior management was heavily involved in this project? Raise your hands. Look at the very senior level. If you can't have your hand half up, can you? It's not <laughs> <laughs> the very senior yeah. management yeah. were as involved as you could expect very senior managers to be in the organisation. Terms and conditions apply. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, I see your point. Very senior manager. Yeah, may, yeah. Maybe going back to commitment in other cases. Yeah, yeah. OK. Uh, you yeah. Basically, yeah. senior management set the conditions, yeah. but they didn't micromanage the process. I think you're right. They set, if you like, the vision or... Actually, I, I, depending on, again, this isn't a strategy lecture, so we're not going to say, how do you define a vision and how's it different to objectives? They, they spin that out for a whole week sometimes. Um, but, but, yeah, it was a target, an explicit target, I think, more than the vision, because it's, vision is often inspirational and, and quite qualitative. So it's more like almost a target, a numerical target, an aspiration. But I think you're right, they set the target and they provide the conditions, or what we'd say is the climate, if you like, particularly the time, but also the resources, that sponsorship role, and then to some extent, they stepped away. Now, whether that's good or bad, we'll find out later when we look at the process and, and the climate. But that's how I would characterise looking at that case, that they set conditions, set a very clear target, and then they had periodic interventions. But isn't it heavily involved? I mean, because they put these targets, um, they attempt even to a workshop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And they, uh, I don't know, they do, uh, I would say, whatever it takes to make this project happen uh, successful. Okay. So I would say it's a early moment uh, from my point of view. I mean, but they don't uh, attempt to all the project meetings. No, no, of course they're not going to do that. It's crazy, crazy idea, yeah. But, um, I, sorry. Sorry, no, I was going to say, I think it's 
depends how it turns out slightly. Because I think, I mean, the, the target is just, you know, we want more money. <laughs> which, which isn't that visionary. I, I, I <coughs> and it's nice round number as well. It's not and, and yeah. round number, I mean, yeah. you know, you kind of give your management team a target. It'd be great, wouldn't it, just to say to everybody, right, guys, I want you to yeah. add 10% on office and go away and just find a way yeah. of doing it. Yeah. It, it, of course it was important, but it's not, um, I, don't, you know, I don't know, that's a physical, is that highly involved? Yeah. What, what was the other, uh, yeah? First of all, I think one of the other ways they supported it is they created the change environment and supported everybody with education yeah. and reading. So not only did they push the change, but they, they planned it, education. Yeah, and okay. The of the knowledge base within the business. So that is, um, yeah. So provided support, and I'd argue... Um, what else will we argue? How will we characterise the point, point you made? That they, they, they intervened, didn't they? I mean, involvement's a tricky thing, but they, they, at critical sort of junctures, they intervened, showed their presence, it's important. So it wasn't just a sort of top and tail. It wasn't like, here's a target, God bless you, here's some time, see you in five years, was it? There were a series of interventions. They really well. Hmm? I just want to learn, how did they communicate their vision well? Who suddenly they have to communicate? Otherwise, usually those Vision, even the CEO of Lego, but mid management kills it. Yeah. Doing that, right? You know, it's, it's a five-year project or something. And yeah. if you cannot see the tangible result in next year, yeah. And people are like, oh, oh, where are we going? Yeah. So well, that's. Some, you know, yep. Embracement hmm. and, uh, so okay, I'll, I'll ask you guys because some of you have read the case. Um, the <laughs> 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 no, seriously, what mechanism did they have? throughout that five years to, particularly to the latter stages, to communicate back to senior management. Because you're right, to some extent, it was detached, and it was a very long project. Door-to-door you know, -door is about five years with several glitches in terms of restructuring throughout. It's a long project. Yeah. I mean, apart from pharmaceuticals, and I think, how long did it take NASA to get somebody allegedly landed on the moon? Was it three years or something? I don't understand the shadows either, but, you know, it was about three years, yeah? And it took them five years to get to the point where they're handing concept documents over. So, hard to stay yeah. yeah, very hard to maintain energy and direction, uh, and my favourite word, momentum. Yeah. So, what mechanism did they use to try to do that? 